What is up, guys? Ultraball's back with another Snake Draft game. Uh, this time we have Axel 10 vs. Will U. Uh, Sun and Moon OU. We'll go over the teams really quick and then just hop right into the replay. So, Axel 10, 10's team looks. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Charizard is X, just because Y is like bad right now with how much Toxpex is being used, and also the fact that like there's no Bantar. And normally, uh, at this point, I feel like you need to use Bantar if you're using Zard Y. So, to me, it looks like Zard X. Um, Scarf Lottie maybe in Specs Lele or the other way around I'm not sure and then the defensive core and then uh, Willie U's team we have uh, which I'm assuming would be Scarf Lando here uh, with like a Specs Hydreigon and Megalop that'd be my first uh, instinct with like Rocks Clef um, and then because we have the nice little like you know uh, Clef Pex uh, Steela core there a team looks really weak to Specs Coco but a lot of teams are weak to Specs Coco so I can't hate too much. Uh, so yeah, we'll hop right into the replay here. We see the Landers lead. U turns out, like I said, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be Scarf, but I guess we'll see. The Clefable should get up rocks, and now Willie use uh, should also get up rocks with his Clef. Uh, the problem is, like, Lottie doesn't defog on this Clef, so that's going to be bad for him. He goes hard Zard, which is weird. Uh, yeah, because like I said, I thought it was X based on the team, and Willie, Willie U reads that as well and just goes for the Toxic. So this is a good point on Willie U's part. Um, Axel Ten was just banking, or like hoping that Willie U expected Y and went hard into Pex. Uh, but yeah, I, like, I, I feel like if it was like Flamethrower Clef lived one anyway, if it would be Zard Y, so like, I get Willie U's play of staying in. Uh, especially if you don't know if it's X or Y, you don't want to risk the Pex because Pex is super good. Uh, so this game, so yeah, uh, he goes Latios. And we'll see if this is like Scarf or what kind of Lottie this is. It actually kind of did a lot, so it's either like Fizz Def Stila. I don't, I or it could be seeing that it's Psychic. I don't think it's Scarf because Scarf should always run Psy Shock for Volk. So I assume it's some sort of like Soul Dew because it has to be Defog as well. And you know he wants more of a reliable Defogger for the Zard, so it makes sense if it wasn't. Uh, Scarf Lottie, and it's more like Soul Dew or something like that. I guess we'll see as we go on. Uh, so this Stila, so yeah, Exoten wants to knock off the Stila immediately. Uh, help with his Lottie, I'm assuming. Uh, Will you could stand and get a lot of damage on the Clef, but I don't think it's worth the knock. So he lets Pex get knocked off a of Sludge. Or wait, do we? Oh, we already missed it. I think it already got knocked. It was um, it was Shed Shell. That's right. That's right. He lost his Shed Shell before. So. Uh, of course, like, that's for, because this team's pretty Tran weak, I guess. Although, I mean, like, Hydreigon could switch in, like, one one to two times to to Scarf, or uh, to, Scar to Magma Tran, so, I mean, it's not, like, the worst, but I understand, like, I, I, I understand, that, like, Shed Shell's still decent. So, uh, he goes Latios here. On the Pex is, uh, Pex, uh, Will you keep, keep Scalding, which is a good play, because he knows the Lottie switching in, so there's no point of getting up, uh, T-Spike, because you're not really punishing the Lottie switch at all, and then he could just defog, uh, the T-Spike away anyway. Uh, so now, uh, Steel is in, so I'm sure Axel 10 here, he doesn't, I don't know, like, he doesn't want stuff to get leached, but, like, I don't know what your better play is, rather than just going Zard. Um, I guess you could go into your own Steel, but, like, something's getting leached. Like, you should never go Clef, um... Just, I don't like that play. Because, like, you're forced out the next turn anyway, so it's, like, kind of pointless. I guess you could go Clef on Leech and then threaten Knock, but I don't really like that play. Yeah, see, exactly. That, that's what I was saying. That's why I don't like the Clef play. That I, I'm not a huge fan of that. But, like, he didn't have a great play. He's, like, like he has Zard to break Steela, but, like, uh, doesn't want to switch into, like, Leeches with Rocks up and stuff. Like, that's really annoying for him. And now that it's Toxic. So, I think things are looking pretty good for Willie U. Uh, Clef here is low. I guess it could try and knock the Stila, or he could like go into Gastro or something and fish for Scald Burn. I think one of those options is probably okay. Uh, and then Willy U, I think, I think you just click Heavy Slam. Like if you if you get knocked, it kind of sucks, but Clef being gone is like good too. I guess that opens up Hydreigon a little bit. Uh, Hydreigon could have Flash Cannon too, but like it, it eases prediction. Uh, like I said, I'm assuming that's Specs because I think the Lando would be Scarf. It could also be some sort of like Z move. I don't know. I've never seen. It could be Scarf Hydreigon Z move Lando, but the, it, we already saw U turn on Lando, which makes it more likely to be Scarf. And then also the fact that like Hydreigon's really only viable set in OU is Specs anyway. So I'm just assuming that Specs. Uh, you see that like Clef or uh, Exelton does trade the Clef uh, just to get the knock on Stila. Uh, that will help the Lottie later on. And now he gets a free switch into Zard at least, which is good. Uh, but I wouldn't be clicking. Hmm, what would I click here? 
Oh, he goes into Gastro. Maybe, no, Flare Blitz had to kill, right? I mean, I know it has a, sp or a one defense boost, but uh, maybe it didn't. I don't know. I would have gone Zard, but like at the same time, you go Zard, right? And you Flare Blitz something, you take so much recoil, and you took rocks, and you're toxic. I guess that was what he was fearing there. Uh, I'm assuming because we saw Earthquake, it's probably the three attack Roost set. Like that, that's like the the most viable set for sure. Um, Gastro will probably just throw off a Scald here, and he could we could go into yeah. Clef is fine as long as this isn't like Cursed Gastro or something wild. Uh, Clef's always fine. Uh, they'll both just kind of sit here and stare at each other for a while. They can't do much to each other. I guess Gastro could get knocked, and Exultime might not want that. So if he doesn't want to get, like, I guess you don't really have a play into the Clefable, do you? I think you just have to, like, let your Gastro get knocked. You could, I guess, because, like, you could go steal it, but that gets knocked too. Yeah. I mean, maybe he's not knockoff. He's Stealth Rock. I mean, the last move could be Call Mind. It could be a bunch of things, so... Uh, but if he did have knock, there was no reason to not go for it there. So that's why I feel like, um, yeah, I feel like Will, you might not have that on his Clefable. Uh, now Axelton gets up the seeds, keeping the Steela healthy. But I wouldn't stay in on this. Um, I would just go Lottie or Gastro uh, because, like the Gastro, well, if you go Gastro, you have to be afraid of this thing actually having Toxic, even though it's more than likely Toxic spikes and Haze. Um, because like getting your ga Gastro Toxic would be horrible. So I guess Lottie's like a more safe play, but I'm never staying in with the Steela, and this is a mistake I see a lot of people make, is like they'll they'll stay in with their Steela on the pecs and like risk a Skull Burn for no reason, and that's like, unless you have no other option, that's a really bad play, um, because as soon as your Steela gets burned or knocked off, it becomes like, I don't want to say useless, but it's like so much harder to keep it healthy if, that, if you get either burned or knocked, so yeah, quick tip, never, never, ever, ever leave your Steela into a Scald. Um... And I, I make, like, especially on ladder, people do that all the time, which, did, and they don't even do anything productive. They just, like, heavy slam for, like, 10% or something. It's just, like, a bad play. Um, all right, so we see a test here. Was, who is, the, oh, Willie Use like, having some issues with the internet, maybe? Um, got 20. Hopefully we don't, hopefully we don't see a timeout here. That'd be really unfortunate, because I think Willie Use in a pretty good spot at this point. A lot he's probably just going to Psychic again. Yeah, and the, that did a kind of a lot. Um, I'm sure that well, you will know by the net damage what kind of Lottie this is now. I don't know the calc off the top of my head. Uh, there's a, That could be like Soul Dew. Uh, but if it's not, if like you see Scarf damage or something, you probably want to scout for Z-Move. Uh, this could definitely be like Shattered Psych. Um, because like I said, the if this thing... I don't know. Has this thing changed up moves yet? We, I don't know if we know for sure what this is. Uh... Oh, yeah, okay, so it is Z-move, yep. See, that? oh, man, I called it. Come on, will you? <laughs> Hard Hide Dragon only play there. <laughs> Damn. All right, so like I said, I didn't think it'd be Scarf. Uh, I didn't think it'd be Scarf because, like, you want a more reliable Defogger uh, than, than, like, a Scarf Lottie to help your to help your uh, your Charizard. And now we, we probably see that's going to be Scarf Lele then. And now he's forced out into something like when he goes to Steela. If I was low pony, I would just click high jump kick here. We'll see if... Yeah, he did. That was a good play. And say, so, because, like, he's not singing with the Lottie. Because the Lottie, like, really could kill everything now that the Steela has been knocked off on Willie U's side. And I think you just... This is, like, a hard play. I If I was Willie U, I'd try to make a double that covered Protect and, like... Uh, what else would you go for? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So Axel. So he just risks it. Like the the reason why I or the reason why I wouldn't have done that if I was Willie U is because uh, the Steel is still at its leftover, so if it protected, and then it would actually if the if the Steel had protected, it'd be out of range of the next high jump kick, or it would have been a roll. But just based on the damage we saw the first time, because uh, it would have been at 50, the first one did 46. So then you take 50% on your lop, and you still can't kill it. So that's why I would have tried to maybe make a double into something like High Dragon that I think could have been decent there. Um, but I guess either way, like it worked out for him. The you know, Lele is he's just gonna psychic probably. Like I said, since his Steela has been knocked, like you're free to just click your psychic stabs with your Lottie, with the Lottie and the Lele every time they come in, and you're you're eventually gonna wear this thing down. So now we're probably gonna see Zar. We go Gastro again. Yep. I'm just gonna let the Steela get somewhat healthy again, though. Uh, I assume that you just protect here. Now, Exultime could also double into Zard on the protect. Uh, so it's kind of like one of those 50-50 scenarios. But like I feel like I feel like Will use in a spot where 
he doesn't need to risk getting skull burned. He could just click protect and he's still in a decent enough spot regardless. So I think if I was Will you, I'd probably just click protect here. And if I was Exil 10, I'd probably make an aggressive play into Zard. Uh, so we see a Hydreigon uh, onto the Zard. Uh, but like the thing is like this, yeah, there's no way this Hydreigon is definitely spec. So this doesn't even really work out for Will you because um, yeah, because now Zard can just uh, click dragon move. Uh, it does a, that does a lot to Pex. I, I think based on that, that's like fully spadef um, Toxapex, which of course is like a thing. Like, but I still like to run a little bit of his def, even on my spadef. Like, obviously all my Pex are spadef at this point, but uh, I like to run some fizz def still. But that did a shit ton, which made me think that it was probably like max spadef. Uh, so now we see uh, going to Scarf Lando on the Dragon Claw. That was a good, uh, good play by Will You. So, Willy, you could either Earthquake or U-turn here. The problem is if he U-turns, it's not going to kill the Zard, and then uh, he's got to risk something else. Although, if he does U-turn, right, and the Zard stays in, okay, yeah, he did. Axelton made the aggressive play, which is something I think he had to do here. Um, you could go, but now he's at minus one, so we could just go into Pex. Yep, yeah, because now that he's at minus one, the Earthquake's not going to do that much. So, uh, and the Charizard's toxic, so it's eventually going to have to be, it's ev eventually forced out. And it's going to be coming back in super low now with uh, with hazards up, with rocks up. So unless he could defog with the Lottie, the Zard has like been pretty much uh, neutralized for the rest of the game, I think. I think if you're Willy U, you just throw off another Scald um, on the Lottie. Yep. Because like, oh, he throws up a T-Spike this time. But like I said, now Lottie has a chance to defog if it wants. Uh, but at the same time, Excellent Time might need to keep this healthy. So you might see a Recover come out. Uh, or Roost or whatever he has because like I said we or like we already found out this was Z move Lottie uh, So he does just psychic on the Steela obviously uh, there of course Willie was trying to catch him on defog or recover So I think that was a good play by Axel 10 the problem is the Lottie's getting getting really low now And this was like one of the main mons that could really um, put pressure on Willie U uh, that he has left so This does open up uh, Lele however, but because the Lele is scarf like it has to either lock into psychic move or um or fairy move, and then Willie U still has answers to both of those, so he could take advantage of whatever Willie U locks itself into. So here you see frustrations. We see the sack of the Zard. Now Lele comes out. Um, I think Willie U's best play is to sack the Lando here. Uh, Lando is already uh, weakened, uh, took a hit from the Zard, and um, at this point, I think you still need to keep the other stuff for sure. Because like for example, let's uh, you're keeping Lil Bunny for sure because it's like. Because it deals with uh, both Lottie and Gastro. Uh, the thing is, like, okay, so if you set, if you try to like predict what the Lele is going for, right, and you predict wrong and you lose either Pex or Hydreigon, then you lose to the Lele. Because then, like, so if you sack um, Pex, then Lele will click Moonblast three times and win. And if you sack Hydreigon, Lele clicks Psychic three times and wins. So I think like your only play here is to sack Lando. Because like I said, you're keeping the low bunny, right? Uh, and if I was Exo 10, I'd probably click Moonblast. Uh, because I, or I'm sorry, I, I, um, yeah, I click Moonblast, so he clicks Psychic. Okay, the reason why I said I click Moonblast is because now it lets the Hydreigon in for free, and I think something dies to Dark Pulse, uh, where at least if you click the, um, if you click Moonblast, right, it forces in Pex, and you don't necessarily lose a Mon that way. Uh, but now you actually do lose a Mon, because Hydreigon just clicks Dark Pulse and it's going to kill something. Uh, Gastro at full spadef might be, would probably live too, but not with T-Spikes and Rocks. So, yeah, this thing's uh, getting a kill. It's nice to see Hydreigon put in a little work. Um, I love this Mon. It's a lot of fun to use. Uh, yeah, so Hydreigon. Yeah, so he's actually, like I said, this is why I would have definitely locked into Moonblast, because uh, like you could deal with the Pex coming out, but you couldn't really deal with the Hydreigon coming out. To be fair, you couldn't really deal with the Pex coming out either, because this Lottie is weak as, or is weakened as hell. I didn't realize how low it was. It actually would have probably it would have died to Scald plus Burn. So I don't know. I guess he was kind of forced into a bad position anyway. He would have had to like gone Gastro on the Pex, but then the Gastro gets poisoned. So we see Pex come out. Uh, that was on because you weren't gonna. You were definitely worth Psychic moving the Hydreigon. So I agree with that play. Now let's see what the Lottie does here. Um. The Lottie has a couple options. He could try and recover or roost, uh, which would be a fine play on his part, but then you risk uh, Will you going like hard into lop. But at the same time, I definitely don't think he would go hard lop and risk that because that's the mon that he needs to like take care of Gastro now that the T spikes are cleared from the field. So I guess like Gastro still has somewhat of a shot if he could like dodge high jump kicks or something. Yeah, I don't know, like 
even like Max Padef, I don't even, which is normally what they run to check gear and Coco and stuff like that. I don't know if that would even be able to live uh, two f like returns or fr I think it was frustration that Willie you had. I don't think uh, it would be able to live two of those anyway, or it'd be like a roll. Um, but yeah, definitely wouldn't take high jump kicks regardless. So he's in a tough spot though because he still does need that mon. He he needs both of these mons. Um, but like if Will Yu goes hard lop on like a recover or roost, um, he'd be in a really bad spot. But yeah, like I said, Will Yu's probably not gonna risk that. Uh, the Latios is getting healthy, and now you can either defog or try and. Okay, he roosts again. Uh, but now you threaten Hydreigon with a uh, uh, Draco Meteor. Uh, but he did get the Latios healthy, which is nice. But yeah, I don't think this necessarily matters because uh, Will Yu could just sack this and then win with Lope Bunny, I believe. So I think like sacking Hydreigon's fine. Um, like his play, like he had the safest. He he kind of is taking the safest route to winning the game. And like I said, it might still come down to the low bunny having to hit like a high jump kick on Gastro or something, or risking a scald burn. Like those couple things might be happening. But uh, he gave himself a really good chance to win uh, without like massive hacks. So low bunny comes out. It already showed fake out, I believe. So I think what you're either gonna see is. Did it show fake out? I don't remember. I think it I think it faked out before. Well if it did, he should Yeah, I think it like you fake out now on the Lottie and then you return it. And I think like fake out into high jump kick would kill the, the gastro with poison damage. Uh, so I think your play would always be fake out there. Or even if fake out into high jump kick didn't kill the gastro, it would mostly kill it. And then you're still kinda risking a scald burn though, so that's kinda risky too, but yeah. He just stays in on the um, fake out and now this uh the Latios dies and now Gastro shouldn't be able to win. Like like I say, here if like Lop like I guess Willie was gonna calc and see if he needs to hit high jump kick or not. Um If he returns and gets burned though, then the Gastro could actually win the game. It could probably stall out the two mons. Uh but if you high jump kick and connect, then the Gastro will probably still be in range of return even after a burn. So I think like Exoten has to go for, assuming this is just like toxic uh, Scald EQ, like he's going to have to go for Scald burn here. But yes, yeah, so like, even if he gets the burn, it doesn't matter, which is why Will you went for uh, went for high jump kick there. So I agree with that play. But like if he missed high jump kick there, he actually could have lost. Uh, but yeah, that was a really well played game by Will you. It was pretty flawless all the way through. Uh, so congrats to him on picking up the win. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this game, like, comment, subscribe to my man Dockerich, and until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.